it's easy to, to say, well, why didn't the Raiders take a quarterback at 13? Because they were gone. There was, it was, you know, that was one of the things when we thought, well, are there really going to be six quarterbacks taken in the top 13? You got seven teams that we knew of that were looking at quarterback. That was before we realized the Falcons were hot on the trail of Michael Penix. Yeah. Maybe it'll happen and somebody's going to get shut out. And the team that got shut out, well, the Giants got shut out because they wanted May or no one. Right. And the Raiders got shut out because no one was left. Here's Telesco on how deeply they evaluated this year's rookie quarterback class. Did a lot of work on it, obviously, uh, on all those guys. You know about possibly, you know, even moving up, but that the reality of that, it just realistically just, just wasn't going to happen. But yeah, like if, if someone had come through, you know, certainly would have talked about it. It's something we had talked about as we went through our scenarios. If the person was the right guy for us for, for the future, uh, there's no doubt. That's just the way it worked out. There was a reason why this off season that we signed Gardner Minshew to have him here with Aiden O'Connell so to get those two guys ready to go. And Gardner's played really good football. He played. Played very well with the Colts last year. And uh, I thought Eno Connell did an excellent job last year in a really tough situation in the second half of the season. He played really well. So those guys will battle it out here in camp, and uh, we'll go from there. It really did seem odd that they were so perceived to be locked onto a quarterback because they had Minshew and O'Connell. But Antonio Pierce had said some things back around the Super Bowl, I think. Yep. Scouting combine time frame yep. about it, – it, it was clear they wanted a guy who wasn't a Band-Aid. They want a long-term solution. And they probably would have liked to have found a way to get Jaden They Daniels. wanted Jaden Daniels. That was real. That's right. They wanted but it. Just, it just right. – it was it, – you can't, can't get there from here. Yes. Can't get the two from 13. Right. And that was that. that that's, the, that's the thing that everybody knows in the NFL, right, you know, is that – when we went to the draft process and doubt that when it started, even before free agency, uh, Atlanta and the Raiders were all in on Jaden Daniels. That's who they wanted. The Falcons want, they were all, they thought Jaden Daniels, their plan all along was we're going to get Jaden Daniels. And then of course they realized, Oh crap, Jaden Daniels is going in the top two picks and we're not going to get them. And that I guess is what made them pe pivot right to then Kirk Cousins, and then to realizing, wait, Michael Penix is good. Uh, can we ask Kirk Cousins to rescind the contract and we'll, we'll go back there? I mean, that's what it seems like right now. They can say what they want, but it seems like they realized how good Penix was after they signed Kirk Cousins. It's kind of hard to de deny that at this point. But, yeah, I feel like the Raiders, we know they made it sure. I got to think they're sitting here today a little hurt and disappointed. You know, Again, I, I like Gardner Minshew like you, and I respect Aiden O'Connell. I'm not in the boat of I think they're a long-term answer. I hope that a Gardner Minshew proves me wrong. I want to like him and all that, and I know he can play, right? But, yeah, I think they wanted something that they went, wait, hey, beacon of hope, like I always like to say, right? The future, ooh, this guy's got special and all of that. And, yeah, I, I think they were sitting there thinking they were definitely going to get one at 13, and they were probably shocked by the Atlanta pick. And that's, again, also why Minnesota traded up because they were probably like, holy crap. There's only one guy on the board. It's J.J. McCarthy, and we know the Raiders want a quarterback too. Let's just trade up right now and just ensure it, and who gives a crap if we give up a little more for that? We need a quarterback. And that, I think, was the, you know, kind of how those events played out there. Easy to justify. Hey, we thought we were going to give up 11 and 23 at a minimum to get our quarterback. We give up a lot less just to nail down. No regrets. Right. Getting it done. Right. Getting our guy, and the Raiders were left holding the bag. And you know who's still out there? And it's been three weeks now since he reversed course when he said he's done for good last year. Tom Brady. Oh, I know you're talking about Ryan Tannehill. His haircut or something. Damn. Okay. Not, well, Tannehill is out there, but <laughs> Brady's out there too. And when Brady talked about coming back, he mentioned two teams, Patriots and Raiders. And Raiders. And he's trying to buy a piece of the Raiders. Oh, and that hasn't been finalized go, yet. Go, so he's good go, to go, Tom. Go to the Patriots and Raiders. I, go, please. I want to see it. Please. I, I'd love to see him behind those two teams who can't protect the quarterback or do any of that right now. Go ahead. For, how old is he going to be? Just, 48, 47 and a half, 49? 47. Yeah, 47. Yeah, no freaking way. No freaking way. I, go, go, Tom. We'll call on your bluff. Go ahead. I just wonder if anyone has taken the bait and contacted him. Since he did, because as you know, I believe there's no accidents. He said he's done for good. Why in the hell 
when he's doing this podcast and the guy throws out this idea, it's kind of like when Jimmy Fallon threw out the idea to Russell Wilson of being the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. As if Jimmy Fallon knows these things. <laughs> it felt planet. He's reading right? PFT. It felt planet. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and it felt like the question from the dude that was cutting Tom Brady's hair was planted. And Brady said, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I, I, I haven't heard anything to suggest anyone has kicked the tires. And if anybody's going to do it, it's the Raiders and Mark Davis, and they haven't either. So that would be one spot. Yeah. But you're right. Does he stay in one piece, or is it going to be a lot of those get rid of the ball and, and you know uh, assume the position so you don't get blown up by one of these defensive ends who can send you into the front row at this age, and he will be 47 in August. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.